Studies show that 78% of people live within the proximity of where they grew up, and that the average person will move at least 12 times in their life. Now I'm 31 and I've lived in seven different cities and 14 different houses, so I'm a long ways from where I grew up at this point. As you start to have kids, it becomes much harder to move around, not only on your family, but the people around you. So that's why this last move was one of the biggest decisions we've ever made. Not only that, we bought a house that we had never seen in a town we had never been. Now my wife lived in Arizona for over 12 years and I for eight, but we both knew that it wasn't gonna be a place that we wanted to raise our children. We weren't planning on moving for a few years, but with COVID, the hottest summer on record and the low interest rates, we decided that we couldn't take another summer in Arizona. So after five months of the most emotional buying and selling process of our lives, it was finally time to pack up the truck, say goodbye to Arizona and hello to Idaho. day has finally arrived it is Wednesday September 30th and I feel like we've been waiting for this day for four months now but the movers are coming today and all our stuff is getting moved out of our house we're not moving up to Idaho just yet we have a few days with the in-laws and then I will be driving up and then Meg and Brady will be flying up a few days later it's a little bit of an emotional day I spent a lot of time getting everything packed up and man I'm happy this day has arrived. I love this property, but it is a lot to handle and it's hard to even look out at this property anymore and, and see the excitement and the opportunity and, and the happiness that it once brought me just because there's so much work that this property takes. And well, I still have a handful of things to do today. The movers are arriving in anywhere from an hour and a half to three hours. So I gotta finish up getting everything rounded up. Yup, let's do it. I hear a really big truck outside. Oh, shoot. There it is. Holy cow. All right, well, here it is. It's here, the time has come. Woo, my heart just started fluttering. That was weird, holy cow. Here they come. It's time to move. Whew. Okay, well, let's get this show on the road. That's it. Goodbye. Goodbye. the day has come to leave Arizona and head up to our new home in Idaho 
It is 6.20 a.m. right now on Saturday, October 3rd, and we're driving about eight and a half hours today to Salina, Utah. We're gonna make a few stops along the way to play some disc golf in Flagstaff. I got Chloe with me. We got the car completely packed. I'm ready to start this new life. Are you ready, Chloe? She's ready. made to our first destination. We are at the disc golf course in Flagstaff. The weather is beautiful up here. I thought it was gonna be a lot colder, but it's not. Well, it's only been two and a half hours, but everything's going well so far. All right, let's go. In the eight years that I'd lived in Arizona, I had never been to the Grand Canyon. Pretty shameful, I know, but I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to see it. With the canyon just being a half hour off the main drag, it wasn't gonna add a whole lot to my drive. So what better time than now? Damn, dude, gate closed? Well, maybe next time. That's weak, Chloe. Well, the Grand Canyon might have been closed, but the second most recognizable spot in all of Arizona was still open and I was going to be driving right by it. Well, we are here at Horseshoe Bend. I've only been here one time and actually Chloe was with us uh, last time, but it was free last time. I had to pay $10 this time. I guess they just started charging last April. It is a bit smoky. Chloe needs a little break out of the car, don't you Chloe? Let's go. Let's go. Even though I had been traveling all day, I had taken my time and the sun was gonna be setting in just a few hours and I still had almost half the drive left. So it was time to stop dinking around and hit the road. here today it's 5 30 time to pack up this place and head up to salt lake city actually going to be at my old stomping grounds of creekside disc golf course i'm going to be meeting up with a couple old disc golf friends and it'll be up to boise so let's do it
There's your new home, Chloe. What do you think? Well, I'm definitely liking it so far. The outside of the house looks awesome. I love that. Here we go. I'm going to the back. Oh, it's so pretty. Look, Brady. Look, Brady. So quick story, when we first came out and visited, we saw these trees we had never seen before and Meg quickly coined them as wizard trees. And then we joked around like, oh, we have to have a wizard tree in our, in our future house. And then once we saw this house, we loved it. And it was like, it has a wizard tree. And there it is. Doesn't look like a wizard. So cool. This is an awesome. This is the best yard out of every house we've seen. Seriously. Good thing it's the house we own. <laughs> Yeah, no, this is an awesome spot for a garden. So here's our backyard. It's huge. Plenty of room for cornhole, fire pit, have some frisbee games. Gonna have my basket out here. Man, this is awesome. A little playground out here. Some nice shade trees, like really nice shade trees. It looks so much better than the photos. Here's the garage. Got a little basketball hoop up there. Lots of storage. Really tall ceilings. This one's Brady's room for sure. Who's outside? We're gonna be redoing this area. New vanity, new mirror, probably a new light fixture. That's just weird that it's off to the side. This room feels way bigger. I think, I think it's that wall that feels bigger. Looks out to the front area. Cool. We've now been in Idaho for just over four weeks and we couldn't be happier with our decision to buy this house sight unseen. We came from Mesa that has over 500,000 people and now we're in Star that only has 11,000. We were concerned at first that it might be a little bit too much of a small town feel for us, but we've really been enjoying walking to the local grocery store, to our local parks, and everyone in the community is so nice. Brady's days used to be spent inside because of the heat and COVID. Now they're spent going for walks and runs, crawling in the grass and playing at the playground. We're absolutely loving the small town feel that Star has to offer and we can't wait to see what the future has in store for us. Welcome to Star Us. We're happy to be here. Thanks for having us. 